from uh, it's from the Australian Society. This is not something new, but it is in, it's an important piece of information about soft tissue fillers and that there's been cases of blindness that have occurred. And what can you tell us about that and, and what do patients need to know? The key is when you get a filler into some of the arteries around the eyes, you can get blind. So the key is in experienced hands, can this happen? Yes. Is this a high risk? No. Around the eyes is a more experienced, need a more experienced injector. I would definitely not go to someone advertising on Groupon to get your filler around the eyes. You know, go to someone experienced, go to someone who knows what they're doing, and that doctor should go slow and inject carefully. What insights do you have, Steve? Well, you know, I, I, I totally agree with his comments. You know, it's like that Geico commercial in reverse. You save 15% on your car insurance, but not 15% on your face. And so uh, you do need to have somebody with expertise to do that. Everything we do in plastic surgery has some degree of risk, but there's principles and things that we can do to keep our patients safe. DDV, any comments on this one? You know, every day we, we insert needles or cannulas in people and inject, you know, steroids, fillers, fat into nasal turbinates, scalps, faces, buttocks, breasts, and there are risks. And frankly, I'll say this, I think it's a great, great technique, but, but I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often, Bill. Charlie, do you have any final comments? The, the only comment is that I think, I think it's more important that we stress using a blunt you know, microcannula injection uh, for fillers anywhere in the face, because the blindness doesn't have to, can occur from injections anywhere if they, it's done intravascularly. All right, well listen, uh, I think this is some awesome insights. Uh, people are gonna enjoy that, and if you wanna see more of this, you can get it at theplasticsurgerychannel.com.